Right, nice fella there. Just chatting to me, he's just bought one of these in red and white. And this is the Yamaha T7, the Tenera, Tenere. I've always been, I've, I've pronounced it a long, wrong, wrong. I've pronounced it wrong all my life. It's the Tenere, isn't it? Let me tell you, this is going to be my next bike. Subject to this test ride. Yeah, it's quite high for me. I've not decided on the colour. I do like this red and white one. I also like the black one, but they haven't got any of them for about eight weeks. Mrs. Rider Guy wants us to sell the house before I get one. She might win that battle. She might. So yeah, first impressions. Yeah, it's tall. I'm five foot eight, not the longest legs. I've been told by my friend Danny, colleague, he's got one of these in blue, that the low, lower suspension isn't that expensive. Having come to that first stop, which you saw me do then, I am tippy -toe. There's no doubt about it, I'm tippy -toe. Fine, once you get used to it, if you're just doing roads. But I'm thinking if I'm going to go off-road. Now, I'll tell you now, I've got all the experience in the world on this stuff, the bitumen. I've had a full license, 35 years, 36 years, how old am I doing? How old am I? No, I've, I've been riding bikes, 35, I've had full license about 32. And as I said, I've ridden a lot of years and I've ridden a lot of bikes. I've got, but this, if you follow the channel in future, is going to become, he's going to come across this Persia, isn't he? Spotted it, as it happens, I'm going to go left, bollocks to it. Is he going all the way over? No. But you lot are going to witness me out of my comfort zone because I'm going to get one of these and I'm going to go off-roading. And I've got limited experience. So you're going to see if I can transition my skills that I've got on the road for, you know, the motor skills that we, we use for riding a motorbike. You see, if it's possible for a 52, pushing 53 year old bloke who's got all that year's experience on road, can he transfer it? The brain's different as you get older. Can I transfer them skills to off-road riding? We shall see. I'll, be, I'll fall off it. I'll slide off it. I'll drop it. It's going to be hilarious. And you lot are going to be witness to it. While I have this steep learning curve. But you might see me get good. Or you might not. Who knows? It's a new thing for me. Now we've got a nice steep hill up here. I'm, not going, to, I'm going to get beyond this Suzuki. This is uh, the road up to Bel Air. I am the Prince of Bel Air today. Up to Windy Point. Shame I've got another car I'm catching. And it's snake season. Might see some today. I'll tell you what, that feels lovely. It's very nice. As I say, there's, there's no effort required to, to turn this thing at all. You've got a very good reason why adventure bikes are just taking off. Something like this is a great medium sized bike. It's not going to intimidate a learner if they could get into it or a newer rider at all. One thing it is going to do is appeal to somebody like me, and I will freely admit I'm new to, not new to an adventure bike, but new to off roading, which I'm going to be doing. But I admit, as I've aged ever so slightly, at 53, do I need the weight of Okay, let's say an F850 GS. Is that a little bit of a bigger bike, heavier? Sort of. Uh, certainly not as... This is a little bit more... for off-roading than... than roading. I think you've probably... If you looked at a percentage... For a GS, yes, you put knobbly tyres on it and it'd be a 50-50 commuter. Uh, road and off-road. With this... It's more of a 60, 40, 70, 30. You can ride all day on roads, I'm sure, like this. 
I'd be comfortable with it. But it would be a better bike off road. It's lighter for somebody who's in the mid 50s, late 50s, late 40s. Anybody who's wanting to learn about going adventure riding, going off road, this would be a superb. This feels like it wouldn't intimidate you. It would be a superb option for somebody. It's got the. It's going to have the Yamaha reliability. You couldn't hurt it. It might drop it, pick it up, you just carry on again. Gearbox is nice. I'll tell you what, I feel right at home straight away. I feel like I can put it anywhere, position wise. That's nice. Okay. I'm nearly at the top, I think. So I'm not going to massively exploit these roads much. Again, that's not what it's about. Keep it tight there, to the left hand side. Oh, it's lovely. I actually absolutely love that. Wow. Yeah, it's effortless, actually. As, a, as what is going to be a relatively inexperienced adventure rider, off-road rider, why would I need more than 75 horses? Why would I need 94 that I can get with a 790 KTM? I don't think I would, I'm going to have plenty in this. How very splendid is this? I'll tell you what, the engine's stunning. I love that whirry sound, it's lovely, it's got like quite, quite a nice sound to it. <sighs> South Australia! We've got to stop. I've no idea where I am. It's up a stir. No, I don't know. I'm going to wait for him because I've got to stop. Again, not too bad on the. Uh, foot pegs there sorry on the foot on the feet on the foot feet on the ground however I wasn't that confident about reaching for the for the back brake and just having my left foot on the ground I think that um, that was quite a steep section so I, I had to use my front brake only then keep both my feet on the ground till I, till I pulled away I think something that, that you get a hang off when you start owning a bike and you get a little bit more confidence in what you're doing. Parking spot. We'll park it uphill. We'll have a little look round it. So yeah, I've stopped up at Heathfield back of Stirling. I'm going to take it down some gravel roads, nice and steady. Lovely, lovely thing to ride. I'm very, very impressed. I think I've uh, been sold. Which colour to go for? We'll see. I am absolutely, completely and utterly sold on it. And I've not even had it off-road yet. Now, because I'm going to go off-road ever so slightly, Nah, I'll leave the ABS on, it's not really necessary, or is it? That's where I should have gone, kind of spin it round. No, nah, not the best place to turn it round, actually, there's a big bend there, I'll leave that, I'll come back. That's where I should have been. Go down here and we'll spin it around. We'll find a better position to turn around. Don't turn around on tight bends. We're crazy. However, I will find a place and it gives me an excuse to explore down here a little bit. And actually, I can see all the way around there. Look, look how much space I've got. And I can turn around here. There's a bit of broken glass there, so I'll have to go again. I don't want to go over that on these new tyres. I can get around here now. Nothing behind me. Nice, oh, it's lovely to ride, I can almost stand that still. It's fantastic. It's cheating. 
it is just a beautiful thing. Not that one, the next one. It's a left hander here somewhere. Is this it? There it is. Evans Drive. Mark Oliphant Conservation Park. Some nice juts and ruts and get it stood up a little bit. Hit some of these. See around that bend, you even though it's a country, an off road, ungraded road, you don't know what's coming the other way. And the locals in their utes and the likes, they'll blat around down here, and you'll suddenly find yourself in the trees trying to avoid them. And you don't get the ability to read the roads as well because you don't get tree lines that are as immediately identifiable. Road. Like this, it is going nice and steady. Not a lot of space. And that's when your own suspension creaks in, isn't it? You know, the we can have all ins, you can have all the best suspension in the world, there's no better suspension than your own legs. Somebody's walking there, look. And your own arms and your own brain is easily the best suspension you'll ever get hold of use it you know and I might be inexperienced but I know how suspension works as in inexperienced off-road bikes holy shit I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in, into some money out because I see what's good as well you can stand up and have a look through these bends that's a good way of doing it look you can get to see what's going on. I know there's a spot here to the left, I know that one. But there's nothing to see, you can't stand up and have a look, see where you're going. I'm learning quickly! Good view of the road from up there. You can call it a road. See all these ruts and... Yeah, right, I'm going to turn around. It's a demonstrator. I really need to... Consider taking the thing back, I suppose. I'll tell you what, I do like it. Let's get back up to the main road, we'll have a black back down to, to the dealers. Back to Yamaha World. Again, stand up. Wow. That feels nice. Still change gear. The good thing is about this engine as well, it's very tractable. I'm in third there. Yes, double checks the... Uh, the shenanigans, the indicator. But I reckon, once I've got my, my levers angled correctly, I could spend quite a bit of time at this, in, in this position, just blatting along. In one gear, in fact, fourth would be better gear because it's a bit. If you're on roads like this, you want you, you, fourth gear would be far more suitable. There's that lady there again. Ah, it's the bike for all seasons. It's 
See, I don't really need to be changing gear there. I'm going to try that fourth gear thing I was telling you about. See, that's more, that's more usable for, com more comfortable. It's not as instant. It's a bit more progressive in its power delivery. And that's fourth gear there. A little bit, a bit, a bit too low in the rev range. But you've, if you've got the angles of your, your lever, your clutch lever, right you can certainly quite possibly just iron out any roughness in the power delivery that's bloody that's bloody i just bloody loved that i'm hooked on i'm hooked on on the off-road stuff that was awesome Absolutely awesome. Right, we'll make his way back. This bike will commute. I'm comfy as. It's got comfier. The more I've ridden it. My ass initially felt, oh, that's a hard seat, but it does not feel uncomfortable. Very nicely done. I'll tell you what's going to be interesting. I'm going to take it on the freeway and see how this little fairing works. Yeah, you see, it's getting less... The more I ride it, the less I'm bothered about the seat height being high. I'll just get some thicker boots. Thicker soles, get an extra inch. That made me five foot nine, you lanky streak of piss. Look at that! That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Anyway, that's the freeway to the left. I'm going to hit that one. Let's do it. Okay, this will be interesting. I like this fairing. I'm not feeling anything in my chest at all. I'm at 84 k's an hour. What's that? 50 mile an hour. That 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 is great, actually. I am mightily pleased at the weather, the wind protection. I've got no head buffer in whatsoever. That little bit of wind tunnel testing and that lip, it's almost straight up is the um, is the fairing, but it just sending that wind all the way around me. <laughs> 